Hey, what is going on, internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. We got another great promo tutorial right here. We'll be focusing on a couple elements like these transitions and you know the glitch effect going on here. Now, of course, if you're in a time crunch or if you're looking for some inspiration for your next promo video, go ahead and check out videohive.net. The link's in the description for some of these awesome promo videos that help inspired this tutorial and if you're looking to save time or produce even better work go ahead and purchase those templates because they will help you out tremendously they will save you a ton of time and we'll talk about that a little bit later in the video and of course if you do make a purchase it does help out the channel a lot so of course you'll be supporting me in the channel and allowing us to continue to make these free tutorials so thank you very much for those of you who are helping out this channel by doing so so let's go ahead and jump in this video and see how we can create some of these techniques let's get started right now so we got a new composition here click that button call it tut click ok great so we got some images in here first things first we bring in an image you know whether it's a video or you know whatever it is a video picture uh you know put it in there then go up to layer pre-compose okay and we call this one uh place oh, wow i can't spell place placeholder actually the reason why i can't spell is because the microphone is right in front of the keyboard so we call this one placeholder one and move all attributes into new comp boom now we have our image in here looks great so now we can replace this very easily after we manipulate it and you want to pre-compose it okay so let's get our basic elements in here let's type out our text let's grab the textile tool come in here type out our first word and we'll call it promo the typeface we're using is beatbaz new right here it's a free font you can go ahead and download it and of course remember you can download these project files for free so you can take a closer look at how we're creating this so go ahead and download the project files if you're getting a little bit lost or if you really want to get a head start on your own promo video all right, now our text in here, make sure to pre-compose this layer and we call this one text placeholder. So now that's pre-composed and you can change that out very easily. All right, so first things first, let's hit S on keyboard for scale. Let's increase the scale by a little bit so the promo is gonna be nice and big like this. Add a keyframe for scale, move forward in time to maybe, you know, maybe a second and a half and we'll scale this down a little bit. So now we get this, bam. So the big majority of this effect is kind of a distortion type effect. It's very easy to do. So go ahead and create a new composition and you can call it distortion. And what we'll do is we'll grab the rectangle tool and we're going to come in here and we're going to draw out a rectangle. Well, make sure from the top to the bottom, just like this very easily. And we'll draw another rectangle here at the bottom. So we have two rectangles covering up our you know, composition here. Very simple. Go back into your main composition and bring that new distortion comp into your main here okay you can turn this layer off we can go up to layer new adjustment layer we go up to effect distort displacement map great so we're getting some crazy things here and go to the displacement map layer set it from whatever layer selected to to the distortion layer and obviously right here you can start seeing the offset going on looks great good start right so we can maybe set the vertical displacement down to zero. Of course, you can play with that. But the majority of this effect for what we're just doing is the X displacement. And that looks relatively pretty cool. We can put the adjustment layer underneath the text placeholder and it won't affect the uh, text, which is cool as well. And we're just going to play around with the background here. Now, I'll go into the placeholder and maybe scale this up by a touch so you don't see it like the black edges. You know, we can kind of start off with an offset here. So that could be... Pretty interesting. We'll do it a little bit greater like that. And maybe we'll maybe we will do a little bit of vertical displacement as well. We'll add a keyframe for max horizontal and max vertical displacement. And we'll hit U on our keyboard so we see those keyframes. And we'll move forward. I don't know. Maybe we'll move forward to 15 frames. It doesn't really matter. Make it quick, I guess. And set it down to zero for both vertical and horizontal. So bam. Okay, so it looks alright. We don't we can add some more movement into this. So go into the image placeholder. We'll hit S on our keyboard, hold down Shift P to bring up position and scale at the same time. Add a keyframe for both of those parameters. Move forward to the end of the keyframes here and we'll scale it up a little bit and we'll position it over. So let's add a little bit more, you know, I guess movement to it, a little bit more parallax. And you can see we have some of those cuts in there. So maybe we'll turn off the text real quick so you can see what we've done. All right, so you can clearly see that there is that apparent transition in there. And what's cool about this is that you can go into the distortion layer and you can create pretty much any other transition that you want. You don't have to just do it like this. You can do vertical lines. You can do boxes. Go ahead and play around with that. I invite you to do that. So let's be a little bit creative with our text here. So let's go up to layer, new, solid. Where's solid? There is solid. And what I want to do here is, well, maybe we'll set this to red real quick. Beautiful. 
And what I want to do is I want to use this placeholder to overlay and also take the shape of the text. So it's add a little bit of character to it and create a little bit of style and just show you guys some cool techniques here for what you could do for a promo video. And what we're going to do is toggle switch the modes and we'll set this to overlay. I'd also suggest playing with soft light and hard light until you find what works for you. And in my demo, I did a hard light, which worked great. And right now I think overlay is going to work just fine because I don't like that hard light. Of course, you can, you know, lower the opacity by a little bit as well. But I like the overlay a lot for this, uh, you know, color. And what we're going to do here is we want the text to take the shape of the, you know, the solid here towards the end before we move on to the next slide. So we'll move over the endpoint of the solid. So like right here and this is where I want the solid to take place. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to go here to the text placeholder and we're going to edit split layer right at that cut, right? So bring the solid right underneath the text placeholder and set the track mat for the uh, red solid to alpha inverted mat. Bam. So this is obviously blending in too much and you might have some issues with it with your background or whatever. So what I suggest doing is right when you switch to you know this solid go to your placeholder go ahead and split that layer as well right at the cut and go up to effect color correction tint now it stands out a little bit more and also with the placeholder here i can also lower the opacity to make this stand out a little bit more so boom you can still read promo and that looks great and then we got one more thing we can do before finish up the slide is to add the distortion effect to the promo text so i want to add the distortion to the text kind of break it apart but let's say we want to make this a little bit more custom what we can do is add another you know distortion here call us a two come in here and just kind of do one like this we'll go back into our main comp we'll bring this back into here and this is our second distortion turn it off for now Go into our text layer and we'll do it very simply. Go to effect, distort, and we'll add a displacement map. And make sure this is set to the new distortion. And we'll set the vertical down to zero. And now you can kind of just cut this up right off the start. So we'll come here to the beginning, add a keyframe for max horizontal displacement. Go right to the cut, which will be right here. And we'll set this down to zero. Bam. Nice. And also we'll go back to the adjustment layer over here. We'll add these keyframes back in here right before our transition. And we'll, you know, recut this a little bit. Just add some more of that detail. Nice. So make sure to turn on motion blur for this. Turn it on at the top. And before we jump into combining two slides together, I want to say thank you to VideoHive.net for sponsoring this video. If you have not heard of VideoHive.net, they're one of the largest marketplaces for royalty-free After Effects project files and stock footage. On the topic of promo videos, there are hundreds of promo videos that are pre-made and ready to go for you. So we're looking at several promo videos from VideoHive.net right now. So they're obviously professionally made and they are ready to go. So what you're able to do is when you purchase a template, you're going to be able to swap out your text, swap out the images for your content, and you're going to be able to render it together within a matter of minutes. So instead of taking the amount of hours to create your own promo, someone's already put in three hours per slide and you just have to go in there. It takes a couple of minutes to swap out your work and you can render it out and have a professional looking video promo. So this is how I look at templates regarding time. So let's just say your hourly rate is $50 an hour or another motion graphics artist that might be part of your team. So their hourly rate is $50 and the amount of hours it's going to take to create a promo video, at least maybe a 30 second promo video, it's going to take them eight hours, which 50 times eight is $400. That's $400 worth of time where you'd be focusing on your business or saving money not hiring a contractor. Now with videohive.net, what you're able to do is take a pre-made template eliminating all those hours. So let's look at this infographic right here. So you're still your hourly rate is $50 an hour, but to complete a template, it's going to take you about 30 minutes. And the template is going to cost you maybe around $20 to $30. So when it's all said and done, the final product is probably going to end up costing you $45. Now with that extra time, you can focus on your business, getting more work, growing your company, or you can learn some new skills, or even you have some more free time to hang out with your family. So obviously between the two, you're saving a tremendous amount of money and they're very well made. So you may even be able to impress your client 
and grow your portfolio. So you can go ahead and check out several typography promos. Those links are in the description. And yes, they do help out my channel and help me continue to make these videos and keep them free. So I really appreciate that guys very much. And let's get back to the tutorial. Okay, so let's go ahead and pre-compose all of our work here. Go to layer, pre-compose, and we can just call this one slide one, click okay. So now you can take the same exact techniques that I taught you and create another slide. Now, here is our second slide, call it slide two, and basically it was the same exact thing with the distortion. To animate the text really quickly, we use Animation Composer from VideoHub.net. I'll link this in the description. It comes with a thousand motion presets for either text or transition presets. And what we can do is come in here really quick, grab a transition that we really like. So, so what we can do is have our layer selected, drag a preset right into here, and now it's completely animated within a couple seconds. So that took us about a couple seconds to animate the text. Let me show you how you would do this on your own with the built-in After Effects tools. So if you want to animate your text just like this, what you're going to want to do is open up your text layer, go to Animate, and go to uh, Rotate, ro Add Rotation, and you're also going to add Scale. So with both of these parameters in here, what you're going to do is you're going to rotate the text by a little bit, and you're going to make sure you scale this down to 0%. Alright, so now you're going to open up the range selector, you're going to come here to the beginning of your timeline, you're going to add a keyframe for start, and you're going to move forward in time, and you're going to increase the start percentage. So now, you're going to get that very similar transition just like that. If we want to refine this even more, we can open up the advanced tab, we can go to the shape, and we can set this to ramp up, so it'll kind of give it that coming at you from an angle sort of feel, and that's pretty cool. So obviously a little bit more work involved in doing it this way, but now you know how to do it with the built-in After Effects tool. And of course, check out Animation Composer. The link is in the description of this video. So with both slides done, we're going to bring them both into a master composition. So you already have slide one in your main comp, and now we bring in slide two. And we want to position slide two to come on at the right time. So this will end, this slide will end about right here at, you know, one second and 12 frames, and we'll continue slide two at that same exact time. So you go ahead and just make sure that both of your slides are, you know, at the same exact time that you want them to come on. So for our slide two, we want to bring a position by hitting P on our keyboard, and we just want to position over here on the left side of the composition. So just like this, right touching the side of the comp like that. Then go up to layer new null object, parent both layers to the null object. So you drag the pick whip, parent it up, great. And then hit P on your keyboard for position for the null object, add a keyframe for position, move forward in time, so maybe closer to two seconds, or depending on however long you want to be, maybe like just a second in length or 15 frames, and boom, just bring up the second comp just like that. And now you basically have like this whip pan, and you can just transition right over. Make sure to turn on motion blur for all your layers, so that will blend very nicely together. So let's go ahead and preview this really fast and looking nice. So with some nice music here and obviously maybe with some more emphasis on the distortions, you're able to create this nice promo, very clean, and you're able to take these techniques and create your own work. Of course, check out VideoHub.net if you're looking to save time and also go ahead and check out some of their examples so you can find inspiration for your own promo videos. So I hope you guys were able to enjoy this video and able to take away a few techniques from it and create your own work. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like. It helps me out tremendously. Subscribe to the channel for more After Effects videos just like this. And please be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of the video. And always be creating.